due to everyone pregnancy rate increase, half liter of the milk daily for the animal coming more. So if I achieve four, that is the minimum two liter, multiply by 300 days, 600 liter per cow per year. So it's too a huge improvement. How can you optimize the diet of dairy cows so it improves cost efficiency and the health of the animal? That is the topic I'm going to discuss with veterinarian and farm manager Dr. Ahmed Hasuna in this episode of Future Feed Talks. My name is Iris Hoffman, editor of Dairy Global, and this series is in cooperation with DSM, Firminique, Animal Nutrition and Health. Well, welcome Dr. Ahmed, it's very nice to have you here. Nice to be. You have a farm in Pakistan. Can you tell me a little bit more about that farm? Yeah, I am a veterinarian. Uh, I am uh, working in the industry since last 30 years. I am Egyptian already, and I work in Pakistan uh, last 12 years, since last 12 years. So my experience, I have uh, 11 years in Egypt, seven years in Saudi Arabia, and now 12 years in Pakistan as a farm manager in Omar Farm in Pakistan. And can you tell me a bit about that farm? How big is it? How many uh, animals? Yeah, this we start in uh, 2012 as Omar Farm in Pakistan as Australian breed uh, Holstein coming from Australia with uh, 1,500 uh, heifers. And now our herd after uh, 12 years, we have 5,600. And our uh, land for the farm is 80 acre. We have also solar uh, panel uh, in uh, production, 3.5 megawatt. For, uh, for our production for electricity, and this saves approximately 30% from our, uh, uh, our, um, our solar uh, energy using for this. We have uh, our production improvement more from 2012 until now. We have, uh, when we started the farm, we have 24 liters. Now, currently, we have 37.5 liters, our production. Wow. This improvement by genetic and the management in the, in the farm last uh, 12 years. Yeah, and we're yeah. going to talk more about that uh, in a couple of minutes. But first, I'd like to know, uh, how is it farming in Pakistan? Are there challenges you have to face? There? We have more challenges in Pakistan uh, since we start uh, before uh, 15 years or 16 years as a mega dairy farm. So the forage quality, so now uh, within the last uh, 12 years, coming more improvement as a forage quality. So also the availability of the soybean. Uh, now, last uh, two years we have challenge for this, and the, the price uh, is too much uh, high due to the international market, it's $650 or $600 per ton, but for Pakistan, $950 per ton. So okay. I am last uh, one year, half now, I'm not doing the soya. I'm optimizing the ration without soya, only with canola and ripseed meal and gluten 60 with amino acid balance and this is improvement more for our, our production and the fertility. Uh, this is the first challenge. Second challenge is the heat stress. Heat stress in Pakistan is more a challenge. Last, uh, for summer half, uh, THI reached approximately above 90%. So we have big challenge for heat stress in the summer yeah. for Pakistan. Because it gets uh, warmer and drier in Pakistan as well? No, high humidity. High humidity, yeah, yeah. You have the moon season from mid-June until mid of September. So if you're in with high temperature, THI is more. And the current situation now, before I'm coming, the temperature 47 degree. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And are there more challenges? The, the challenge of, um, of the fertility in Pakistan, to do how to improve the fertility. Yeah, and how do you face those challenges? What uh, do you do to improve uh, the herd? Yeah, this is by uh, good building the team, uh, good construction for the new farm with the international standard, and the improvement for good for uh, forage quality, and the increase the cooling system for uh, for decrease the heat stress for the for the cows. Yeah. So um, you're also talking. You're doing a presentation here at the Ruminant Days. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? In my presentation on amylase enzyme for oxygenous enzyme. So uh, the mycoflexiblast uh, as an antitoxin, uh, mycotoxin bender, using for, uh, for improvement two things in the farm. First, uh, we have improvement for uh, the due to have zerylenone enzyme. So this Im improves the fertility of the, of the, of the, of the, of the, for the cow. And second, we have fumensin enzyme. So the fumensin enzyme, anti-fumensin enzyme, the improvement 
for the health of the animal, for decrease the hemorrhagic bowel syndrome. This is the main issue I use in Mycovax Plus 5Z for improvement of our, our health of the animal and the improvement for fertility. Second, we have using uh, as a trial amylase. Uh, so this uh, name product is Rumistar. So I see the result is more improvement for the for the cow for starch digestibility in the manure. The international target some consultant till less than four percent in the manure when testing undigestible starch. So uh, after that, when using the mylase uh, enzyme exogenous enzyme name Rumistar, this testing before uh, trial, we have four point four nine percent undigestible starch in the manual. After the trial, we see 1.65 uh, the starch uh, digestible, uh, undigestible, so there's more improvement in the, in the health. So now using amino acid balance last year, we now start using enzyme for improvement also the health uh, digestibility and the health of the animal. And how long does it take to see that difference? It, it takes two months. Two months? Two months for the trial. And we have order also for product for an improvement for one year, for for see what the result was the one year also. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And uh, do you think that uh, because I think uh, the circumstances are different in Pakistan than in the Netherlands, do you think this enzyme would be beneficial for uh, all dairy cows or? Uh, you, you see, mostly every every farm need for improvement for the cost efficiency and using for the how to improve the profit. So our situation in Pakistan under challenge, under stress more. So the forage quality need for using this enzyme for improve the storage stability for the fi fi fibers digestibility. So this is the main issue we start now using for, for the, the enzyme. Yeah, so, so what factors uh, do play a role with this enzyme? We measure five items for this uh, enzyme. So I see, notice the sorting behavior of the animal is decreased when I use this enzyme, okay? Due to have relation between this and, and the, see also the improvement for the heat detection rate. Heat detection rate in this bin, the, the control bin 79%, and for the, the enzyme using 85% the heat detection rate. So I see the conception rate is same, approximately 42, 41, but when I see the pregnancy rate, I see 36% pregnancy rate in the, the trial group, and the 32 percent in the control group. So this four percent is huge. This one percent from pregnancy rate achieve approximately 180, 180 liters or 150 to 180 liters mm -hmm. per year per cow. And this profit, if you calculation this money, you have profit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So it really uh, is, is good for the cost efficiency. Yeah, due to every one percent pregnancy rate increase, half liter of the milk daily for the animal coming more. So if I achieve four, that is a minute two liter, multiply by 300 days, 600 liter per cow per year. So it's too huge improvement for this. And you see that happening uh, at the farm? Yes, uh, you I see, yes. Yeah, you see this, yeah. Yeah, you already talked about cost efficiency, but what does it really mean for cost efficiency? Okay, the cost efficiency, how to, mostly we have the guide, eight items for uh, control for dairy industry. Okay, we have uh, feed cost daily, we have income over feed cost, we have milk feed ratio, we have maintenance feed cost, we have marginal feed cost, we have uh, income over feed cost for the herd, okay? We have feed efficiency. So this is the main items we have guide and they have uh, a question how to control for the dairy, for the dairy industry. So you're working with uh, DSM Fermini as well. How do you find working with them? Yeah, uh, we, we have be worked before for Microfix Plus 5Z for two years before. After that, the product not availability, so now as availability, so due to some registration in Pakistan. So now we have written back and order for this. So I hope this uh, before achieve more improvement for health. So yeah. thank you very much welcome, for your insights. Welcome, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. Yeah. And thank you for watching Future Feed Talks. If you want to see more episodes or listen to our podcast, please click on the links below.